International Media TV. Television that listens to you. Hi, I'm Johnny Burrell. Welcome to the program. Okay, Bella. So I was just testing there as I came into the uh, round pen that she would stand still if I asked her to and at one moment as I was closing the gate the dog spooked her so all I did was I made her stand still again and repositioned her to where I had her originally. It's just a way of getting her attention on me and starting the um, process of obedience. And, and now what I'm doing is I'm lunging her without any side reins. Uh, quite a bit of walk to start with so that the fluids in the joints all circulate and we don't cause any muscular stress. And I've started off in the direction to which she likes to bend, as opposed to the stiff side. Okay, Bella, stand. We want to try to work both sides of the horse evenly, so what we do in one direction, we try to repeat in the other. try to keep her in front of me so that she gets the idea that the whip is pushing her forwards. And now I'm going to ask her to stand. 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 Okay, so the reaction wasn't quick enough, so I went in front of her and tried to block her with my hand. Um, sure, can I have the side reins? You bet. So now we'll do a little bit of lunging in side reins. So not those. These. Now these are what we call um, side reins, they've got a donut ring in the middle that makes them give a little so they're not too rigid. Uh, 
and you can start at any height on the Sir single. I'm starting low because she's um, I'm just coming back to schooling and um, I'll have to find the right length to suit where she's at so it might take a couple of adjustments. And at this stage I make them even so they're both the same length. And um, I know that I'm going to start going on the left hand rein because that's her easy side. So when I clip up the side rein, I do the right hand side first because that's going to be her outside rein. Clip it to the bit carefully. Some horses might pull back. And then I go around to the other side. I'll take the side rein. There's a few. Oh, could I have the whip? <laughs> Sorry. And then I clip up the inside. Thank you. Alright, come forwards. 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 Huh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Forwards. One more. Uh -uh. Come. Forwards. Good. Okay, I'm going to send her out on the left hand range. So that means the left side of her body is to the inside of the arena. And what I'm looking for is for her to stretch her nose down and seek some sort of connection with the bit. Hopefully she'll take a little more tension against the side reins. The whip is driving as my leg would be if I were in the saddle. And then what I'm looking for with my hand is a nice gentle connection and steady in those side reins. Now the walk is not the greatest pace to do this with. So we'll go up to the trot as soon as possible. Trot. Good. Now in order for there to be steadiness in front, there has to be activity behind. The hind end is the engine of the horse. We've got to get all the snorting out the way. I just keep driving her forwards and I'm looking for an even tempo in the stride, activity behind, a lot of push from the hind end, there she's starting to relax there. There, she's just trying to find the bit. There's nice and steady. And then when she's steady, I'm going to ask her for a transition back to the walk. Walk. Good girl. And then I have to keep the activity in the walk. And then we we'll do another transition up to the trot. Uh, to the trot. Trying to keep the steadiness in the connection. Just as we would want under saddle. Okay, there she brought her head up. She was a little bit lazy with her hind leg. Good, so we'll repeat that set of transitions. Bella, walk. Not listening, so I'm going to go in closer. That's right. Good. Good girl. 
and good that was better and canter Again, I'm looking for the rhythm, forwards without running, and the stretch towards the bit. And then when I get it, like there, ask her to deal with the balance in the transition, so into trot, different pace. That's nice. And you'll often find that once you've done the canter, you come back to the trot. The trot is so much better. That's much steadier. She's a little lower in the connection. She's stretching the whole of her top, her top line. And she's using her hind legs. And we're going to ask her to walk. Good girl. Good girl. And stand. Good girl. I'm going to change direction, so I'm going to bring her into the center. Make her stand. And this time I'm going to put the left side rein on first because I'm going to start going to the right. Then I'm going to walk her off on the right rein. I want to try to develop the same balance in both directions. Horses are typically what we call stiff on one side of their body and they're more supple on the other. Now she moved off without me asking, so I'm going to bring her back. And walk on. Is that where the cantering from the gate comes from? Okay. <laughs> uh-uh. Walk. Okay, good. Now on the side that's stiff, you'll typically see that they'll try to look to the outside of the ring, that they fall in, make the circle a little bit smaller, that maybe they rush or they're slower, the rhythm's not the same. Good, and trot. Good girl. Good. Here she's just falling in a little bit. I'm going to push her shoulder out. I'm going to make the circle a little bit bigger. Didn't ask her to canter. I'm going to bring her back. Oh. I'm looking for the same tempo. Head to the left. Same mental concentration, same physical balance. Good. Out. 
see if you look close at it, she's leaning on this right shoulder. Out. Ah, 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 ah. Good girl. Ah, ah. Okay. Good. Walk. So now we have a schooling issue at the gate. Char, you said she was cantering. Yeah, yeah, she knows. Where so we're going to school, is. going by the gate a little bit. Not only is she running, but she's falling right in. Just changes track of the circle. Okay, understand. Oh. I'm going to make the circle start at the gate, Shah. You might be a little bit in the way when I open it up. I'm sorry, what? I'm going to um, school the cir circle from the gate. So when I start opening the circle up, because I want it to go close to the gate. Okay. And you might be a bit close. So what I'm trying to do here is the opposite of what she wants to do, which is rush at the gate and fall in, so I'm making her, trying to make her go by the gate in the pace that I've asked for, which is the walk. And okay, now we're going to ask for the trot. Fairly small circle to begin with, just getting her to go past the gate. Come. Good. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, gently. The cameraman, you've seen him before. Good. Gently, no running. Brr. Brr. Ah. <laughs> oh, don't worry. So now I have to get her concentration on me. She's busy fixating on the cameraman and on rushing at the gate, unsteady in her head, not really listening. It's better. Good. Good. There. Woo! <laughs> I'll just say there, and she's beautifully balanced and we lost all four feet. <laughs> <laughs> Did she just go sort of lose her, uh, her thought process and space out somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> we just get everything and then warm. Good, good girl. And walk. Walk on. And trot. Yes. Good. Ah ah. Prut. Don't spoil it when I say good. Ah ah. Prut. Trot. Trot. Bella trot. Bella trot. Bella trot. Go on. Trot. 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 Good girl. Come, come. And canter. Come. That was a bit of an attitude when she threw her haunches in at me, so we're going to try that again. After the gate. Canter. Canter. Good. Come, come, come. Hey. So she's testing a little bit. Trot. Trot. Good. 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 
chop. Good. And canter. Canter. Backing is a resistance to going forwards. Come on. Good. Uh -uh. Keep going. Keep going. Good girl. Now trot. And canter. Good. And trot. Forward, forward. Good girl. And walk. Can't. Stand. Okay. Good girl. Ports. Ports. Uh -uh. All right. So this is long lining. It's a more sophisticated form of lunging, um, a very English thing, uh, it's part of the breaking in process for a lot of young horses and what we're trying to do is get the feel, the contact, the correct contact before we mount. But first of all she has to go out to the bit, can you see she's curling her neck? She's not stretching to the bits, so she's got to go forwards. There we are. Bella. Come. And it's better in the trot than the walk. Good. So I'm looking for a connection I would have in the saddle. This is my hands, this is my leg. And then I can let go and she'll stay in a balance. And canter. Good. Uh -uh. And canter. Good. And trot. Good girl. And walk. Walk. And. And trot. Come. And walk. Come on. Come on. And we can start to teach her how to change direction. Ah. 
заниматься. And trot. And the beauty of the long gliding is that it's easier to work on the stiff side because you have both reins. Good girl, and canter. Trot. Forwards, forwards, and canter. Good. Ah, uh -uh, come, canter. Good. And trot. Oh. Good girl. Ah, uh -uh, no spooking. And walk. Good girl. Walk on. Stand. Walk on. Uh -uh. Good girl. Walk on. Just a bit more. Good girl. Good girl. So that's a nice thing to be able to do as a good transition between lunging and getting on their backs and riding.